Hey guys, it's Bailey from Making Up the Midwest, and this is going to be a top five and under five video, all on my favorite eyeshadows that double as blushes, because who doesn't love a good multitasker? So let's get into it. My first pick is L'Oreal's Infallible Eyeshadow, and this is in the shade Glistening Garnet. It looks pretty purple in the pan, but it's just this side of pink to make it wearable on your face, I find. And to cast aside any doubts, I am actually wearing it today, because I know in the pot it looks like it's a very hard to wear kind of shade, especially on your cheeks, but really, it's it's a gorgeous almost berry shade it's gonna be great for winter and it has a natural highlight so you really don't need to add an, an additional highlight it has kind of iridescence to it so it's blush and highlight all in one my next pick is a Ribble Eyeshadow Quad. This is the Glam Eyes Quad Eyeshadow in Sweet Smolder, which really looks like a smoky eyeshadow palette, if not for the pink pop of color right here. And although it looks kind of small, if you use a brush like the Real Techniques, this is the medium stippling, I guess, this is the perfect size to, size to really get in here and dust it on your cheeks. And this is ultimately going to be a more shimmery baby pink for your cheeks really gorgeous. Next up is more peachy leading and it comes in this L'Oreal quad. It's the Color Riche eyeshadow quad in Shopping Spree and inside there are two blush shades in here that I would pick. One is a matte peach, always a great staple shade, and the other is this gorgeous rose gold which could double as both a blush as well as a highlight, something very similar to say the Balm's Hot Mama or something. Very gorgeous and it's two for one in this quad. Beautiful colors. Now this rose gold shade is a little bit harder to get to, but again, if you take a brush similar to this, about this size, swirl it in those two, it creates a nice shade, and then luckily this is on the peach, the matte peach is on the end, so it's easier to dust off by itself and apply if you just want a matte cheek color. These next eyeshadows come from a really fun palette. It's the Lime Crime Palette D'Antoinette, and inside you'll see it has tons of fun pastel shades and even a gorgeous foiled shimmery glitter shade here, but really pay attention to the pink and the orange, which are called uh, macarooned and royal flush, because you can wear them not only by themselves to create a gorgeous pink or a gorgeous peach, in, just all by themselves, but you can mix the two to get any combination of peachy pink you could imagine. Gorgeous shades, and they really wear beautifully. They're very smooth and very pigmented, so a little goes a long way, whether you're wearing them on your eyes or your cheeks. And the last product isn't actually an eyeshadow at all. It is a gel eyeliner. I figured eye products fell in the same category, so this is by BH Cosmetics, and it is one of their gel eyeliners. This is in the shade Blow, which is a pink shade. Now, it's also, these are great, fun gel eyeliners that stay all day. They really don't budge but if you dab this using a finger or even again a stippling brush on your cheeks it will stay all day in the pot this looks like it has some chunkier shimmer but once it's applied it just comes off as a nice very subtle pink flush again though beware a little of this goes a long way so you really don't need to build it before you get some pretty intense pigmentation but it's a really great option for a cream blush if you are cramped for space or just need something to multitask for you so those are all of my favorite eyeshadows that can function both as eye products I should say or blushes Please let me know if you enjoyed this video by hitting the like button, and please subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you in my next video. Bye!